She my trailer park queen, yeah. She my trailer park queen. Hey y'all, here's Jolene Sugarbaker, the trailer park queen. Trailer Park fans, it's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen. I want to know what's on your spice rack. I've got one of mine behind here, and I think it'll come off just like that so we can see it a little bit closer. Let's see, I've got some black peppercorns here, real nice to fill up your peppercorn uh, grinder. I have the seven pepper seasoning, which I really like. Um, it has um, some great things in there, garlic, onion, red, and green bell peppers, real nice to add to some beef or, or maybe even some pork, too. Um, I have lemon pepper, which is something I use a lot with chicken. It's real good, and it's great to have on hand. It really peps it up if you need some citrus flavor. Of course, black pepper, always have to have that. Um, I have some rosemary here, too. Rosemary is universal. You can put it with beef. You can put it with pretty much chicken. All the meats, really. Um, it's got a very vibrant taste, too. Um, kind of got a leaf that you can't digest, so you got to be watching that. It's probably just a, a center or a taster type thing in your dishes. Um, you got to take it out, usually. I've got some regular uh, seasoning salt, which is great on some maybe some french fries, some frozen fries from the store. Um, really livens those up and makes them more homemade. Men's onion can't be without that, especially in soups. I find that that tastes so much better in the soups. Um, it tastes more vibrant than maybe even a real onion. Less bitter, too, in my opinion. Um, I have some coriander. It's real good, too, especially in some exotic um, uh, dishes. Uh, it's great for pork and beef as well. Uh, we have some um, cumin or cumin or however you want to say it and it's mostly used in Middle Eastern cooking and uh, Mexican cooking and Indian cooking and that's what you taste sometimes in taco meat and real tasty. We have the steak seasoning and we know that that's my favorite and it has just a mixture of spices, garlic, onion, dill seed, uh, has some probably paprika in there. It's real spicy and real great on like uh, more uh, maybe chewier pieces of beef, I think, in my, my opinion. I even put it on hamburger meat. Well, I, I put it on everything, to be honest with you. And I got more lemon pepper. I apparently love that. Um, ground mustard is great, especially making uh, your own sauces. You can mix that in there. Or just coating some chicken with it with your other spices. And peppercorn medley. This just adds some color a little bit different than the black peppercorns and that has some um, red and green uh, peppercorns in there and all different types. And um, mace. Uh, mace is quite interesting. I haven't really been using it much lately. Maybe y'all have some suggestions for it and I can get that used and um, up and going in the trailer park test kitchen. But I have a lot of places that I keep spices, spice racks, spice cabinets, and I, I know you do too, but what spice can you not live without? What's on your spice rack? Leave a comment wherever you see this video and I hope to hear what some of your favorite spices are and why you like them and that sort of thing. I'll see you real soon with some more trailer park cooking shows. Watch some of my other ones on my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter at twitter.com backslash Jolene's trailer. You can find out what's going on in the trailer park test kitchen every day. I love you, and I'll see you real soon. I'm Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and I'll be back real soon. Bye-bye.